Greetings, my dear student. We will start storyline two forces at a distance. We will answer question, how does the moon shape our post line? And that's page 112. In this chapter, we will go through investigation three, gravitational force, investigation four, electric forces and magnetic and forces in material. Investigation three is about gravitational forces. Many of the science began as a stem to understand simple observation of the world around us. The change in seasons was one such observation, and it turned out to be connected to gravity. But gravity itself took a long time to explain because it cannot be observed directly. For many years, astronomers couldn't even imagine that plants orbit the sun. What would have held them in orbit? We know now that most of the changes we see in the sky, the movement of the sun, moon, and planets, the phases of the moon, the rare occurrence of eclipses, the brilliant flashes of meteors, and even the cycle of the seasons are all a result of the invisible gravitational force. In experience one, we'll be talking about universal gravitation. What causes free fall? We already studied about free fall, but what causes it? Gravity is a non-contact attractive interaction between any two objects having mass. A force due to gravity is what causes free fall. So the English word gravity comes from the Latin word gravitas, which means weight, seriousness. Proportional to mass, how is weight proportional to mass? We study graphs, we will interpret data and learn many more uh, objectives. We will see how distance and weight are inversely proportional to each other. Weight is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the center of masses of the object and of Earth. The graph shows how the weight of a one kilogram object changes with distance. Here, if we plot it like this, it's going to be linear. We'll solve many examples, Earth and the moon. This is one sample problem. We'll solve it in details together to unreveal the mystery in this question. It's already in your book, so you can refer back to your books for further clarification. Homeworks will be assigned also. We'll talk about gravitational field. What is a field? What is gravitational field? We'll take the equation G equals capital G, which is the gravitational constant, multiply by capital M, which is the mass of the object, over R square which is the distance from the center of the object. R is the unit vector that points to the center of the mass. We have something called twin satellites also. We will explain what does it mean in details. A very important concept, concept in physics is field uh, line. What are field lines, how they point, into which direction, like here, Earth-Moon system. Here is the Earth and here is the Moon, the field line from Earth to Moon and vice versa. We will discuss it in details. The inverse square law is a mathematical description of any physical quantity that inversely proportional to the square of the distance from its source. The surface area of a sphere is proportional to the square of its radius. This is, we took this long time ago in geometry. We'll see how it's connected to our lesson. 
So we have many, many, many concepts to understand and to uh, unreveal the mysteries in our lesson. I hope you will enjoy the lesson as you have enjoyed the previous ones and have a pleasant day.